Hey everyone, this is Ricky, aka Geekx Pop. Welcome you back to another edition of my Let's Play Minecraft series. But you're going to notice there's something different here. I'm not starting off in the world. I'm actually starting off on the home screen of the game. And that's because the last time I played Minecraft um, didn't go so well. Um, I had just had a pretty bad bipolar uh, episode um, with a severe bout of depression. And for some reason, I thought I would be smart to uh, fight the Ender Dragon <laughs> under those circumstances. And, well, let's just say it didn't go as planned. Um, check out this quick little montage to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, um, needless to say, I was left even more um, frustrated and emotional after that. And, well, <laughs> in a, a bit of emotional imbalance, I deleted my world. Um, what can I say? I was really frustrated. And <laughs> I, I, I don't know... I don't know what else to say about that. I um, I just I, I felt overwhelmed, and thought, well, you know, I I literally just said fuck it, I'm done, and was frustrated and deleted the world, and I'm looking back on that now, and I'm really disappointed in myself because I just threw away almost four months worth of work. Um, four months worth of world building and exercises that I had been doing in the world and I'm a little frustrated at that. So I'm coming in here and I'm actually gonna start another Let's Play series but what I'm gonna do is I really think I'm just going to play I'm just going to play regular Minecraft, you know, just not with my natural textures pack, just back to what the game is supposed to be, and just, um, just start over, you know? So this is what we're going to do here. We're going to create a new world. I'm not going to even try to enter a seed. I'm just going to create a brand new random world, and... I don't know what to title this. Uh, you know what? Let's just stick with Geek X Pop. That's just the world name. That's not going to be the uh, the seed like I did last time. Last time the seed was uh, my actual username. This time though, we're going to you know, we're definitely setting it on easy because um, yeah, I don't want any of that again. And we're going to create a world, and we're going to see where this takes us. We're going to see what this loads us into. It's going to be a brand new survival world. I have no idea what's going to come from it. Um, I'm going to forget about that failure. Uh, try to move past uh, the emotional stability that I suffered at the end of the last world. And we are just going to create ourselves this new world and explore it and we are in the top corner of the map so <sighs> let's see let's get this let's get this first because I, I, I like getting these 
And let's head... Oh, I should have gone that way. So we're going to head west, which is what I normally do. And let's collect some of these resources. And I'm going to play this game like I do. I'm going to head west. I'm going to look for the closest village. And I can't believe I didn't put show coordinates on. Because... I like seeing the coordinates on, but I can change that later in the settings. But for right now, we are going to run and find a village, find a home, because I'm not really keen on building uh, the first night on in the game. Oh, but this may change if I can find enough sheep. Okay, that, that helps. Let's get some red dye. These roses will help me. If we find another sheep, that'll help. But even if not, it's good to have roses. But we're going to look for a village here. Ouch. That wasn't smart. You can always eat that mutton. If I need to increase my health. Some more roses here. But I don't see any semblance of any kind of village. I don't mind destroying all this because... Okay, there's a cow. That's another bit of food. We can kind of like... Where are we? We're middle of the top of the map. Some more pretty flowers here. We got some pretty foliage here. But no village, no village, no village. This is not... This is... Oh, and it looks like we're going to go into some kind of extreme hills kind of thing here. Is that what's going on? Is that what we're heading towards? I hope not, because this is really going to put a cramp on finding a village. I don't think villages really uh, spawn in these kind of areas, at least not that I've really seen. And man, I really wish I hadn't done deleted that world, but it is what it is, you know. Um, sometimes dealing with bipolar and depression, like I do, it's kind of it kind of makes things... It, it, it exacerbates certain feelings. There's a lot of coal here, you got to remember that. It exacerbates certain feelings, and it can leave you feeling a lot worse. Let's see. Can we spot a village from here? You know, it can leave you feeling overwhelmed and exacerbated. And, nope, but there's some sheep, so we're going to get these sheep to make a bed. Because this will be this will be more than enough to make a bed. And as long as we go to sleep before it gets dark, right? As long as we go to bed before it gets dark, uh, it, it doesn't give a chance for some of the more hostile mobs to spawn. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. So just in case we don't find a village, this will give us a good starting point. But I hope to find a village because that's that's my normal that that's my normal thing to do in a Minecraft world is find a village first because I I, I don't trust myself at night. Out in the world. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? For right now, let's go ahead. Make a crafting table. Make a couple of sticks. Why can't I make a bed? What's going on? 
Oh, dumbass, you need to put the crafting table down. I am so fucking stupid. Oh, it's ridiculous. Let's get this red dye. Get this red wool. Get one bed made. And let's go ahead and get at least a basic set of tools going here. So. Damn it. Yeah, got a basic set of tools here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some of this coal so we can get some torches real quick. This is just in case we can't find a village. You know, it'll be good to get some torches just to kind of light our way. But I know I said I'm trying to move past deleting the world and the disappointment I'm feeling at doing that. But it, it, it's it's hard, you know, dealing with bipolar and depression. It, it, it's a struggle. Um, even like the littlest things can set you off really bad if you're just having a bad day. And that, that, that's just what happened to me yesterday. It was just a bad day where a, a bunch of little things just kind of compounded into a situation that I just lost control of. And it, it aggravates me because it's the kind of stuff I used to be able to control. But, um, ever since my, ever since my bipolar situation got worse and worse, um, I've mentioned it before, it got so bad to the point that my doctor put me on medical disability and my, and the doctor at my work, I used to work for the Los Angeles Police mm. Department, the doctors mm. for the city, uh, recommended that I not continue working because of my situation. Um, it's been hard, you know? It, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It, it's been a most difficult situation. And... I wish it was something that I didn't get emotional about. But I, I, I can't help it. Um, I am, seem to be governed by my emotions a lot lately. So that's a little difficult. Okay, got to remember there's a nice cave right there. There's more extreme hills here. So I don't think we're going to find any village this way. That's why I have my map out. Because I'm going to map as much as I can as I'm going in this direction. Although this looks, this looks kind of promising. I kind of like that. Oh, excuse my neighbors. My neighbor's just kind of roaring through with his loud ass motorcycle. <laughs> you know what? Here's some iron though, right? Oh, okay. So let's get... Um, do I have any... Do I have any stone? Let's get some stone for a stone pickaxe to get this iron. I'm like, we're at least going to grab that. So we can already switch this out for a more prosperous uh, pickaxe. And more equipped to handle this stuff. So I'm going to need to build a furnace soon, too. Smelt this iron. Alright, there we go. And just what I was fearing. So, respawn point set. There. We should have no hostile spawns. Thank God. Thank God. 
such a weird word for me to say out loud. Um, I'm not trying to bring religion to this, so I'm just going to skip that point there. But it, it suffice to say I'm not the most religious person. But I'm so used to saying that phrase because my mother is a very religious person. She did her best to instill it into me. I just, I just didn't take for a number of reasons. <laughs> but... Like I said, I don't want to bring that into this. This is this is a this is a controversy-free zone. So we're just gonna continue looking for a village that I hope I can find soon because this is taking quite a while, isn't it? One thing that I One thing I'm definitely going to miss from my Geek X Pop, my, my, my last world, was how centralized things seem to be. <coughs> Excuse me. And now we find ourselves looking for a whole new thing, but you know, it's a fresh start, right? That's all it is. It's just a fresh start. It's another promising cave. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to. Looks like we're gonna have to find our way up. I'm not the best Minecraft parkour jumper, so we're definitely gonna toil away some of this to get up to where we want to go. <laughs> and I know later on when I come through here again, I'm going to be like, what the hell was I doing? Because I will come through here again. There's a lot of caves that look really promising around here. God, these hills are not providing anything. But I'm going to come through here again. I'm going to mine these out the way I did in the last world. But, uh, oh, let's get some food in me. Uh, start taking damage from hunger. Okay, definitely going to need a furnace. Let's see. This area looks promising. We're along the edge of the map. So I don't know if I want to go any... I don't know if I want to go off the edge of the map to find a village. But if that's what we have to do... I don't see anything though. There's nothing in the immediate render distance and I don't want to go too far. Uh, that's like I said, that's not my style of play. But we're gonna need to pick up more food. But this area looks promising, and I think I might be spotting something, but that's just my eyes playing tricks on me, isn't it? Yeah, it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. I don't spot a village yet. So this is gonna be. A very arduous task here. Finding some place to live right away. And at this point, if I go around the edges of the map and I don't find anything, I might have to consider building <laughs> um, building a base. Because ah, that, nothing's really. We got no fortune here. I like this birch forest, though. I don't really use a birch, but it provides emergency kindling when you need it, so. Let's see. Nothing, nothing. Oh, shoot. We're out. Okay, we need to go back a bit. I came a little bit far down. Oh. 
ground. Okay, so let's continue on this way. Sorry, lambs, right now you're to my slaughter. This is a really big birch forest. I don't think I've ever seen a birch forest this big in the worlds I've played. <sighs> yeah, I don't think I've seen a birch forest this big before. This is interesting. No village, but let's go ahead and take this. What the? Okay, that was weird. Let's go ahead and take the sugar cane. Still looking, still looking, wanting. have to start putting down the bed one more time. Okay, let's get some more. Let's get some more colors of wool here. That's interesting. Anybody know why Minecraft does that? Why you get patches of land that look like they should be in some kind of magical world instead of well, I mean, you know what? I'm trying to compare the realism of Minecraft to that, and it just sounded dumb in my head, so never mind I started saying that. There's more coal this way. There's an that one looks like a ship. It's pretty interesting, but not what I'm trying to get into. I'm getting a little disappointed here that we're not finding any kind of village. Seriously, we're not finding a village anywhere, and I think we just came to an ocean biome, right? Okay. This is... Oh, that was hard. That, that was hard. If I can't find anything, we're going to need to build. I think I'm going to build a boat and explore this ocean biome. Because we seem to have run out of land mass. So I may be pitching up a tent, so to speak, here. Yeah, because that's it. That's it. Where we are. <sighs> we are out of the uh, options here. So let's put... I need to organize this better. Let's see. Up here. How do I craft a boat? I know there's a boat in this thing. There it goes. So we'll get the boat. The sun's about to go down. Put our bed here. And... Let's reset the spawn. God, I really don't know what I'm doing here. This is... more frustration on top of what I was already feeling. Let's see. There's nothing this way, right? Oh, shit. I need to eat again. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so let's go to sleep. And we got some of our energy back. That I just wasted twice right there. Sleep. Come on, come on, come on. And let's go ahead. Take our stuff back and go ahead and put our boat down and let's explore the ocean. You know, you guys are going to be in this for a long episode because I want to find some place before I hunker down. And in this episode, but it seems like um, it's gonna. It seems like it's gonna take this entire episode just to find our first village. <laughs> so this is <coughs> definitely a very interesting scenario for me. I'm not used to. I think I've only had it once where I went an entire video. Um, not wrong button. Or I went an entire video without finding any kind of village. Okay, so do we just... What? That, why is that taking forever to break? That wasn't... Oh, okay. Oh, and she has cubs. Okay, never mind. Let's put she back down. And we'll just go around. We gotta go up anyway. So at least I know that down here there's a. <laughs> at least I know down here there's a. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? What is this? Okay, shipwreck. Anyway, there's an ice biome down there. I don't have enough time to go through that. Because I don't have anything. I don't have any kind of armor. I don't have Death Strider or anything. So that's not going to, that's not going to work. You know what? I know it's over here. So let's, dolphins. Let's go ahead and come here. We can get this sugar cane. Thank you. Why is it taking so long to break the boat? That's what's annoying me. Get another, get another sheep, more roses, more roses, more roses. All these flowers is all nice and well and everything, but oh, I need a village. I need some kind of a... What is that? That's just a swamp, isn't it? I know it might be off the map, but... Okay, yeah, it's just a swamp. I was thinking, did I just find my senium? But no. Yeah, it's just a swamp and it's going off map, so. Wow, we've made our way all the way back to spawn. So let's continue this way. <sighs> wow, this is... I'm not going to lie, this is... Um, very disappointing. Uh... The fact that I can't find a village is 
kind of getting to me now. Dude, seriously, my neighbor needs to calm down in the morning with his motorcycle. It's getting pretty fucking frustrating, and I'm sorry to cuss. Well, sorry, not sorry, but it's getting pretty fucking frustrating every fucking morning when he does this shit. Today he's actually being really calm. Oh, turtles. Okay. Today he's being really calm, but there's days where he fucking guns his, he revs his engine for no fucking reason just to bug people. And it's really annoying, and um, one of my neighbors has already confronted him about it. About him leaving, you know, him revving his motorcycle so early in the morning. Um, I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning, by the way. I uh, just couldn't sleep, so. Okay, so here's some buzzy bees, so that's another thing to take note of. You know, I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning, and that's the time he's revving his engine and going through the neighborhood. And they've confronted him about it. I haven't confronted him. I'm, I'm just annoyed. But there's some neighbors who um, are generally angry. They're, 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 they're genuinely angry about the shit he's doing, you know? And I get it, you know. Uh, luckily, my kids can sleep through anything, so I'm not too... Um, I'm not too angry about it, but if it starts becoming a thing where he's waking my kids up with this, I'm definitely going to be speaking up as well. But anyway, that's aside the point. It, uh, it's just another thing that's frustrating, you know? Oh, that's why. Sunflowers. Okay. Dude, we are running out of places to explore for a village because we're coming right back over here. And I've already been just past this area. Don't tell me we're going to explore this whole map before we finally find a village. Because this is going to be... This is already kind of turned into like a little surrealistic nightmare for me. Like, oh man. I mean, it's great. I'm getting all the sugar cane, but... That's not what I want. I want, you know, I want to find a village. I want to find some kind of semblance of civilization in this game. You know, civilization that's not a drowned civilization. Because I can just, ah, I'm f***ing up all these jumps. <sighs> frustration, frustration, frustration. Seems a no-no end right now. I am going through these... I'm going through these biomes looking for a village, and I am just shit out of luck, aren't I? Oh my god, what am I gonna do? Oh man, if there's no village, this is gonna be a really hard start for me, and I'm gonna be honest, if I can't find at least one village on this whole map, um, you're gonna see me starting a whole new world, because I don't like seeds where I don't get a village and a map. That's a... Uh, because there's not going to be anything up there. So there's no point exploring that part of the map. And I can't see anything over here. See, we're coming back up to this area again. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, we're back here again. So if I can't find a village... <laughs> this video is going to end with me just stopping it here so I guess my only hope is to find one in Taiga if I can't find one of these Taiga villages I'm I'm screwed in this map I'm screwed in this world and I think considering how much there's left to explore I think I just I think I just might be um, shit out of luck because we're not getting into the boat. It's just this. Is this just the op open ocean, isn't it? <sighs> yep, it is. It's just the open ocean. So the only place left to really explore. Where is it? It's just down here. God. Okay. 
Go check that out. And if not, because, yeah, this is... I still think there's nothing here that's calling my, catching my attention. It's just more of this. And I'm not... The hell, fucking boat, get off me. I am not gonna... <sighs> so frustrated. Yeah, uh... I'm not gonna spend my time in a world where I can't find a village. That's that's not... I know you want to challenge yourself, and I don't mind challenging myself going to different biomes, but I'll be honest, as a Minecraft player, the way I play, if I can't find a village, I'm not going to be happy with this world, and if I'm not happy in the world, there, it's there's no point to me playing it, you know? And... I know I might come off as spoiled or entitled or whatever you might want to call it, but that's just how I play this game. That's me, you know, and I'm sorry, isn't the whole thing of Minecraft, it's what you make of it? Well, if I can't make it fun, um, I don't see any point to it. And I think that's it. I mean, unless there's some semblance of a village over there, which I really doubt. And I know you guys don't come on here to hear me complain for 30 minutes. You know, that's not what you want to run here. But, you know, unfortunately, that's... This is me, you know, with my bipolar and depression and I'm not trying to make excuses you know but it just makes it harder for me to do some of the little things yep there's nothing there's no village and I don't need to start off in a world where I'm fully frustrated so yeah that's it um <laughs> You know what? This may have been a failure for me right now, but I don't mind it because you learn from failures. So anyway, this is Ricky, aka Geekx Pop. Next time you see me, I'll be starting another world. I'll hopefully, find something a little bit more fortuitous than this. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.